Hi everyone, Melissa here. Today I'm going to be doing a fun, like flowery spring design. I haven't worked with um, real flowers in some time. It's probably been, I don't think I did any last year, so probably been a couple years. And um, I kind of had this thought of like, hey, what if I do like the peekaboo, but with flowers instead of with glitter? So I've just kind of been, um, focused on this idea. So I got these flowers. Um, they're an Amazon kit. So it comes with these like smaller ones. Um, it comes with these medium sized ones and it also comes with these larger ones. And I decided to work with the medium sized ones. Um, I do also have the small ones. I've kind of like cut them up and I might be placing them randomly if I feel like I need to fill in some space, but Hopefully this is going to look good. Unfortunately, I have not been able to practice this a lot just because there are so few of these flowers that are in the colors that I want that I needed all of them to actually put on the nails. So, uh, yeah, um, this is kind of going to be one of those diving in face first things and hoping to not hit my head. So, uh, I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be using Got Milk by Double Dipped. I was kind of torn between like a sheer pink or a sheer nude, sheer white. I decided white will probably just kind of go with all of the colors best. Um, but this batch of Got Milk that I have um, is super duper sheer. So I'm going to be darkening it up. I did have somebody message me not too long ago on Instagram asking me to say how to make one of these milky whites um, and basically it's just it, it depends on how sheer you want the white to be I think um, how sheer this is is probably about 30% white to 70% clear I'm gonna add some more white I'm just gonna be using double dips French white and I'm going to be kind of making it a little less sheer it's very very sheer not sure exactly how much I'm just going to add some and see how it goes. Okay, hopefully that is going to be good. I just added about four scoops there. I will probably start with uh, the thumb and see what kind of opacity I have and see if I need to add any more before I move on to the rest of the nails. So I did redo my builder gel, just a quick and easy um, rebuild because the last that I had with the glitter in it would have shown through the sheer color. So I just went ahead and just did a quick rebuild and I'm going to go ahead and apply my peel base to Okay, now these are dry. I'm going to be using a little bit of builder gel to um, to apply the flowers, and I have, and then I have the um, like there's just the squishy part of a clear stamper, and I'm going to be using this to kind of press the flowers down and really hold them in place while I cure those on. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to put just the smallest amount of this builder gel. This is the um, double dipped Hema free builder gel in clear. It's not really, really thick, um, but it is thicker than like a gel base coat. So um, it's just going to hold the flowers on there better. I don't want a ton on, but enough to hold those flowers.
Okay, it is definitely not easy to get these flowers exactly where I want them on this nail because it is smaller. It is a smaller nail. Um, but I have um, making sure that the flowers are at least touching on the edges here on the sides and by the cuticle are kind of in the builder gel there where I want it to be. I'm gonna do just a really quick flash cure to kind of freeze those sides in place so that when I press down, it doesn't move the flowers everywhere. So I'm just gonna do a quick flash, a uh, quick flash cure to kind of keep those where I want them on the sides. Um, then I'm going to just grab some, grab some gel base so I don't want it to be thick and just kind of like plop some in here underneath. And then I can go ahead and grab this little stamper. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my lamp on and then I'll just hold this on, pressing those flowers down underneath the lamp. Okay, so I had it pressed down just like this under the lamp, just kind of turning side to side and you can see when I pull the little stamper off and the flowers are pressed down and it's gonna be a lot easier to work with them that way. Okay, now I got all the flowers onto the cuticle area. I think I'm just going to place a few um, small flowers going upwards just in case it does show so it looks a little bit more like an ombre and not just like a blunt um, trio of flowers. And let's see how well that goes. And I'm just going to use some gel base for this. These are pretty small flower pieces. They shouldn't uh, cause too much trouble as far as sticking up. Okay, so I've cured all those flowers in place now. I'm going to start with the actual dipping the dip powder. So um, I'm going to start with a layer of clear. That's going to protect the, the flowers here at the cuticle from when I am filing it down and then make it so that the uh, ends here, you can really kind of see where the flowers are. Okay, so I really only put the clear where the flowers were. I did one coat there, and then I actually did a second coat, just really getting getting into that line of the cuticle with the clear so that it filled in any like cracks or um, spots there, and then went around that with my water marbling tool just to make sure that I didn't get a whole bunch in the actual cuticle itself down in there. Um, just try and keep it clean, and now I'm going to get started with this white. Like I said, I'm going to start on the thumb just so I can see um, how much opacity it has. And then if I have to add clear to it or more white to it, I can do that. Um, but I'm just going to start here. So I'm going to start with a layer that kind of goes to about here. Kind of wraps up around leaving kind of a nice bottom crescent part that's only in the clear that will show the flowers well. This is probably a little bit higher up than I do at my usual peekaboos, but I want to show a little bit more of that flower, so that is intentional. the first dip. I'm going to do a second one that is just a little bit even smaller than that, just slightly bit smaller. And one more that's pretty much just like the center area. 
Okay, so I can still see the flower through here, but I'm not sure that I hate that. Um, I'm gonna activate this in Violet and just see kind of how it looks before I make a decision on the rest of these. Okay, so I kind of do love um, being able to see a little bit of flower through, so I think I'm gonna keep it at this. I also like seeing a little bit more of a flower at this side than on this side, so I'm going to just make sure that I file enough um, all the way around on the rest of these, but I think that this is going to look pretty cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of the nails the way I did this one. Okay, so um, I think these look so pretty and delicate, and I kind of really love the matte look on them. So I think I want to keep the matte um, I'm going to try it and let's see, but I'm going to be using, um, I've had this for a while actually and I haven't used it yet. This is the double dipped matte dip powder top. So it's a dip liquid. It works with the activator. Um, actually did a test with it. It does not dry without the activator. So it's actually a, a dip powder liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and activate these and then put on the, um, matte top and we'll see how it looks. Oh, that first coat dried really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the second coat and then see how that dries. I've got to say that dries really quickly for um, a matte top. You can tell that the activator really helps it dry because it dries almost instantly. Um, and yeah, those are dry. And I was kind of concerned about streakiness because you could see streaks when you were brushing it on. But once it dries, that streakiness is gone. So um, that's pretty nice. I actually like the kind of um, smooth, velvety finish that this has so I'm pleasantly surprised I had never used a dip powder matte top coat before so um yeah that worked really nicely um so here we go there's our finished I guess kind of a peekaboo uh milk bath type style look I think it's really pretty it's really delicate really um very 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 springy <laughs> uh i hope all of you like it let me know what you think um and i'll see you next time